Good morning. I hope you're having a great day. It's a beautiful day outside, a little bit of an overcast. The weather is beginning to warm up, and I think it's going to be a beautiful day. Have you ever had somebody to promise me something? You know, I can remember when I was a kid, we used to do the little pinky square uh, swears. You know, you hook pinkies and I swear, or uh, I cross my heart, hope to die, stick a needle in my eye, I promise, and you give your word to somebody, and sometimes it seems like they don't take those words for for anything because nothing comes true. Maybe they didn't keep that secret or maybe they didn't show up for that party that they were supposed to show up at your house or it could be just multiples of anything. You, you know, oftentimes we seem to give lip service other than heart service. Jesus knew this probably better than anybody else. And, and as he was talking to his disciples, it's a verse recorded in Matthew and in, in chapter 15. He was talking to the Pharisees. And, and, and just before this, he, he told the Pharisees, this is in chapter 15. I'm going to start in about verse 7. He says, you hypocrites, rightly did Isaiah prophesy of you. This people honor me with their lips but their heart is far away from me. Wow. But they do, uh, but in vain, they do worship me, teaching the doctrines that perception, perception of man. Wow. Jesus says, you hypocrites. What he was talking about here is to the Pharisees. And, and just before that, he was saying, you're supposed to honor your father and mother. And, but yet you say that everything that you have belongs to God. So you can't help your father and mother. And that's sort of a hypocritical statement. You, you see, we're supposed to help one another. And, and as we give our word to one another, it, it should be that we carry out that bond. I can remember years ago talking to my dad and, and I can remember him talking about them buying land and him and the fellow down the road would make a deal for two acres, five acres, whatever it was. And by the shake of the hand, I'll pay you when spring comes. I'll pay you this coming fall. I'll pay you next year, whenever the payment was. And by a simple handshake, the deal was done. There was no paperwork. There was no going to see lawyers. There was no surveyors that had to be called out. There was not a 15 page document that everybody had to read and starting at this point to go to that point that it was just by a simple handshake. But because today in today's society, people don't seem to keep their word. We have to go to lawyers. We have to call surveyors out. We have the, the land surveyed of what exactly how wide and how deep and where it all is and, and all the, the, the proper descriptions of it. And we have to have it notarized before uh, notaries and saying, this is what we'll do. We go to banks, we do promissory notes, and we have to sign those. It says we're going to pay back, putting the land up. For it, it's just a multitude of things. It don't matter if you're buying a car buying land, almost anything that you buy or anything that you do. You know, if we were really people of integrity, we could give them our word. I'll come by tomorrow and check on you. I'll call you next week and check on you. I'll be happy to come over and to whatever it is, help you. Dig the ditch, put a light bulb in. But sometimes we we don't get that message across of how important it is to keep our word. You know, we don't have any long 15 legal document pages to say, I give my heart to Jesus. Lord, I will follow you. Lord, I want you to lead my life. Let me follow your path. Let me make your word a light unto my path. And oftentimes we break that word with God. 
I've never read anywhere in the scripture where Jesus broke his word to men. But many times where men have broke their words to the Lord. What did Jesus say? He, he called them hypocrites. This people honors me with their lips, but with their hearts, they're far away. The scripture continues as it goes on down. And the disciples said in verse 12, the disciples came and said to him, do you not know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this statement? I think it's sort of funny that that the disciples would come to Jesus and say, you offended the Pharisees by telling them that you're just giving lip service. Jesus says, I'm not worried more about what is politically correct. What I'm more worried about is what is biblically correct. I gave him my heart and my life to Jesus. When I did, I promised him every aspect of my life, every part of my heart. Have you given it to him? I promise to read your word and to follow you in your footsteps. Do you read it once a week? Once a month? Do you read it once a day? You, you promise to be the hands and the feet of the Lord. Do you go out and proclaim? Do you go out and tell others? You see, we need to be people of integrity. When we give our word to God, we need to be sure that we keep it. I'd hate for Jesus on that last day to look at me and say, you hypocrite. You worshiped me with your lips, but your heart was far from me. As the word of God says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might, with all your strength, with all that's within you. Love the Lord and follow him. I hope you have a blessed day.